Well, last time I did this, I showcased um, some stuff I have of the uh, Disney movies Utopia, Zootropolis, whatever. Here, I'm showcasing a load of plushies. Mostly from, well, actually no, all of them from, I don't know why I said mostly. <laughs> Nervous camera. Anyway, all of these are from the Watership Down television series. All the way back in 1999. <laughs> Or 99 and 2000, since I think a lot of these uh, plushies actually came out um, oh, d just during that period of two years. Um, obviously, though, there's a few plushies I haven't got. I'll explain um, when we get to that. First of all, I'm not sure if this, of course, is the 12 inch. Yeah, this is the 12 inch Hazel plush. Now, I just want to explain to people <coughs> sorry, who don't know. Uh, yeah, Hazel is a traditional female name um, to us humans, but um, the rabbits, or most of the rabbits from the book, the film, the show, whatever, they're all <clears throat> named after plants. So, of course, Hazel is named after the <clears throat> hazel bush where, um, you know, hazel nuts come from. Yeah, it's got a, got a tail, underbelly, underside. So, yeah, yeah. Crunch um, everything, and yeah, pretty um, decent plush. As I said, this is the 12 inch version, the other ones I have are smaller. Um, like this one, <laughs> this is actually Hazel, but this is the small um, 7 inch beanie plush. You can tell because I don't know if you can hear that, but he's got um, beanies, um, or beanies, sorry, beads on his bottom, <laughs> um, like all um, beanies ones. A bit like um, those Thai beanie babies, it's kind of like this, that kind of size. Um, I'm also point out here we've got the uh, Beanie Bigwig. <laughs> Beanie Bigwig. Yeah, in the show, um, well, he's called Bigwig in the book and film because he had a little fur cap. So basically, um, he just has a little fur cap like this in between his ears. But for the TV series, they actually made him a lion mane rabbit, which is a real thing, by the way, people. Yes, there is such a thing as a lion mane rabbit. Look it up. I think it's a rare species or subspecies of rabbit, but it does exist. And um, obviously they, uh, they decided to give him that for, um, you know, sense of authority. Oh boy, Primrose. <laughs> <laughs> for those who don't know, Primrose becomes Hazel's mate in the TV series. Not his Emflay, as in the book and film. Also, she has no psychic powers. <laughs> Yeah, everyone thinks Primrose is just basically a watered-down version of Hezemfle, and even uh, it, there was even that one particular fan of the TV series who absolutely hated her. Um, really, really hated her to the point where, um, yeah, it was he was planning to take a few photos of like putting the, his plushie. I don't think it was this one. I think it was something else. But I'll get onto that in a minute. Um, in perilous situations, on purpose because he hated the character so much. Yeah. Anyway, this is also a, this is yeah another uh, beanie plush about. Um, seven inches um i might as well show the uh, beanie of fiverr here fiverr is my favorite character bar none no arguments i like fiverr okay then <laughs> yeah fiverr is my favorite character this of course is the uh, the beanie version um though some fans uh will look at this and thinking is that blackberry <laughs> yeah um this is another infamous change from the series um they uh they used kind of um, Blackberry's film design more or less for Fiverr, kind of. It's kind of a little bit of that and a little bit of Hazel. Um, it, it makes more sense when you actually watch the show. Um, but Blackberry is a doe. Originally he was a buck, but um, she's now, or oh, he's now a doe, a female, <laughs> a female rabbit, because they wanted to increase the amount of female characters in the show. So, um, from the start. So, yeah, that's just um, one of those things. Um, another character who was um, a, well, was male in the book, but um, well, I think this character was um, inspired by the mouse that Hazel saves in the book, um, and of course through the film, is uh, this character here, Hannah, who in the show was played by Jane Horrocks for the first two series, then like all the other celebrities, or most of them, except for Richard Bryce, bless him, um, she decided to leave. Um, and was replaced by, is it Kate Harbour? I think her name was. Anyway, the, the, the voice actress from uh, Bob the Builder who played Wendy and um, little um, Mixy Dizzy, has it? Yeah, um, yeah. The, the, anyway, her, her. The, the actress who played those roles and um, replaced um, Jane Horrocks as Hannah for Series 3. Um, yeah, this again is a, a beanie plushie. 
But yeah, actually, I, I quite like Hannah. Very um, streetwise character. And again, another female. And here we have Kia! Played by um, the late Rick Mail in series one and two. And then by the re late, is it? I think it's Anthony Jackson, yeah, from the Dreamstone of all things. Why do I bring up the Dreamstone? Because the Dreamstone and Watership Down television series music were both done by the awesome Mike Bat. So there. Um, this is the small, yeah, this is the small, yeah, there's a bit of a beans on his um, uh, rear section there. Um, his wings do flap, of course. Um, he is um, a seven incher. I think there was another. Um, I think there was a 10 inch version, but I haven't got that. But at least this is the right size for Hannah to pretend that she's flying on him. <laughs> Yay. There we go. And here we have the 7 inch version of Fiverr. At long last, again, as I said, Fiverr is my favourite character. Played by Andrew Falvey, who played him in all three series. So he was one of the very rare actors to stay for all three series and deserves a gold medal for that. Absolutely fantastic. Um, yeah, here's the um, seven-inch version of Hazel. Did I have? Yeah, there's a bit of a bean uh, beanbag thing going on as well. Um, yeah. Oh, a lot of these originally came with tags, but uh, quite a few of them have fallen off. That's not the case though with my ten-inch. That was the ten-inch Hazel, by the way, not seven-inch. Sorry. Um, but yeah, my ten-inch Bigwig, who still has his tag. Yes, he still has his tag still attached. Let's get a look at the uh, profile there. Who made who made these originally? Um, Humbro, has it? Um, Humbro, is there anything inside? Yeah. Um, oh, actually, yeah, it tells you about... Oh, they're nine inches. Yeah, it tells you the whole collection of um, plushies that are available there. Oh, by the way, I just want to point out, no, these are not for sale. I'm just showing these off. <laughs> so, yeah, any comments um, suggesting, you know, or asking about that sort of thing will be deleted and the user blocked. So, yeah, just point that out there. But still, if you just want to um, have a look, see these um, these little guys, um, that's great. Um, yeah, these are available, um, well, not so much anymore. The Wall Street Down television series wasn't um, that well received, so the merchandise didn't really um, shoot off the shelves straight away, so to speak. And uh, they're very hard to come by nowadays. I think, I don't know if they're harder to come by than, the, um, maybe not as hard to come by as the if merchandise based on the film, but there you go. But here's here's my pride and joy. Oh, by the way, there was a um, there is a, a twelve inch big wig, um, but um, I don't have that. Um, there's also the character Pipkin. Um, actually, it's um, I'll show off the tag here again because uh, yeah, it uh, actually does say there's um, there is a couple of Pipkin plushes, one beanie and one um, nine inch. Is it nine inch? Yeah, one nine inch uh, plushie. That's it. Um, of Pipkin, but those belong to my sisters. So that's why they're not here. <laughs> um, and I said the, there's the larger version of Kihar as well. Um, and the um, uh, remember that um, Hazel plushie? Yeah, there was a one of uh, Bigwig of that size. Um, that's gone. Oh, by the way, Bigwig is played by Stephen Mangan. Yes, Stephen Mangan, who's really making a big name for himself nowadays. Um, he also stayed for three series as well, and even played Silverweed in series three, replacing Tim McKinley. But mind you, that wasn't really Tim's fault. Um, the character was very minor, and then I think when they were developing series three, they thought, oh, let's uh, give this character more screen time. <laughs> there we are. But this one's my absolutely fave of the lot. This is my 12-inch fiver. Mouth open and everything. <laughs> yeah, I will never, ever part with this. Like I said, if you're lucky, you might be able to find some of these on eBay. Um, you may have to ask about specific sizes, if they're beanies or whatever, but um, yeah. So yeah, these are all the Humbro uh, Watership Down plushies that I have on hand. Um, oh yeah, there was a couple of other ones. There was a Hazel and Primrose plush from Pizza Hut. Uh, remember the fan I told, told you about earlier? Um, yeah, he actually had that plush of Primrose from Pizza Hut. They also had um, Hazel and Fiverr magnetic heads. Don't ask me how that works. It's just, it's just how they, um, it, it's just uh, one of those things. But yeah, this is my showcase of the Humbro Watership Down plushies. Again, these are not for sale. These are just so I can just show them off. <laughs> because I, I do like the, um, the television series. I do have other merchandise. I have the frames. I have the um, from Ainsco. I've also got the Ainsco figurines. I've got the Weetos figurines. Uh, Weetos being a breakfast cereal in the UK, which is basically just chocolate wheat um, O's, hence the name. Um, which gave away figurines um, of the series around 1999 when the series first came out. So, yeah, this is coming to 10 minutes now. I better uh, quit while I'm ahead. <laughs> anyway, thanks a lot, guys, for watching, and do take care. Bye.